family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're here to learn how to do this neat puff stitch. Um, I've been doing a lot of puff stitches. This one works a little bit different because you have this row of double crochet chain ones in between the puff stitches. So this would make a beautiful blanket. It would make a pretty scarf. There's just so much that you could do with this placemats, um, pot holders, just all kinds of things. This makes a beautiful stitch for that. Okay, so let's get in the material. For today, we're gonna to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook, and you will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Um, this does change colors as you go. You got obviously not change colors if you don't want to, but you do have to cut off and work them in. So we will need scissors for the actual video. And once you complete your project, you're going to need a darning needle. Now I'm using that Kaboo yarn that I've been using in some of my videos lately. It's like a cotton, um, bamboo blend yarn that I found at Walmart. I will leave these in the description below along with all my other materials. Okay, so let's get into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is work a slip knot and I'm using my pink yarn first and then I'll use the white. And this is done in multiples of two plus four. So you're going to, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And we're just doing a small little swatch for the video to show you how to do it so it doesn't need to be really long. And then I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then in the one, two, three, fourth chain from the hook, we're going to work a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one, you're going to skip one, and you're gonna go into the next stitch and work a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one, skip one again, go into your next stitch and work a double crochet. And you're just gonna do that all the way down, chain one, skip one, go into your next stitch and work a double crochet. And then when you get to the end, you'll chain one, skip one, and double crochet into your last stitch here. And this is why we do it in multiples of two. Okay? So that's what it looks like. Then you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, turn your work, and then you're going to double crochet into the top of this double crochet right here. So this, uh, this chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So that's worked over this. So you're going to skip this chain one space and go into the top of your next double crochet and put a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one, then go into the top of your next double crochet and do a double crochet. Chain one, go into the top of this double crochet right here. So you're just gonna keep doing that all the way down. Chaining one and working into the double crochets. Okay, so right here, these look a little closer together, but you still need to work a double crochet in the top of this one. And then chain one and work a double crochet in the top of this one right here. Okay, so that does count. Make sure that you don't miss it. One, two, three, make sure that you get into the top of that one. just like that. So that's what it looks like. And then you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna start working puff stitches. So I'm gonna start working a puff stitch right here into the middle of this chain one space. So I'm just gonna go right in the middle there, pull up one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna go through all loops, 
then I'm going to chain one to close and then chain one again. And then I'm gonna go into my next chain one space and I'm gonna work another puff, okay? So again, yarn over, go into your chain one space, pull up a loop, there's one, again, two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one to close, and then chain one again. And again, working into the chain one space, one, work your puff, two, three, four, and five. Then go through all loops. Then chain one to close and chain one again. And then repeat that again. Again, yarn over, go into your chain one space, pull up. Yarn over, pull up again. That's two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, and then chain one again. So the best thing to be to work these puffs is, is you want to make sure that they're loose enough where you can work your hook through, okay? But not too loose to where they look incredibly messy. So that's the key here. So we just keep working these puffs all the way down. Two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, and then chain one again. One, two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, and chain one again. Okay, and now we're working to, to this chain one space right here. This is what it looks like so far. One, two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, and then chain one again. Now we need to work into this space right here, I mean into this chain here that we did. So I want you to yarn over and put a double crochet count up uh, in this chain right here, one, two. Into the second chain, I want you to put a double crochet. And that's how you end. And after this, it's just repeat. So I'm gonna show you one more time, we're gonna change colors. And I'm gonna show you one more time how to do this. And then it just repeats and changes colors for each row. So to bring in my color, all I'm going to do is bring in the white right here. Then I'm going to tie it off in the back. Just like that. Then I'm going to chain up four. One, two, three and four. I'm going to turn my work. And then I'm going to skip my puff stitches, okay? So this uh, counts as, again, it counts as my double crochet chain one, but I'm going to skip this puff. So I'm gonna skip this puff. I'm gonna go into my next uh, chain space here, and I'm going to put a double crochet, and then I'm going to chain one. Then I'm gonna skip this puff and go into this chain space, put a double crochet, chain one, and do the same thing again. Double crochet, chain one. So I'm just working in between all these puffs Okay, 
And then when I get over here to the end, I'm just gonna work into this double crochet that we did. So I'm just gonna work into the very top of it. So one, two, and three. And I'm just gonna work right there and put a double crochet. Just like that. Then I'm going to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. That counts as turn my work. That counts as my double crochet in my chain of one. Then I'm going to double crochet right here into the top of the next double crochet. Just like that. Then chain one, go into the top of my next double crochet and put a double crochet. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. Okay, and then when you get to this last one here, you're just gonna count three up, one, two, three, and you're going to put a double crochet right there. After chaining one, put a double crochet right there. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, turn your work, and now we're going to start working puffs again. So as you can see, we repeated just what we did for the first row. I just wanted to show you again. And that's all you're gonna do. It's just a repeat of these um, three rows over and over again, okay? So then you would just go into the space right here and work a puff stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, and then chain one again. And then again into your next spot, another puff. One, two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, chain one again. And again, one, two, three, four, and five. Go through all loops, chain one, and then chain one again. And yarn over, go into your next space here and do another puff. One, two, three, four, and five, go through all loops, chain one, chain one again. So you just keep working puffs and I'll, I'll keep working puffs. And when we get down here to the end, I'm gonna show you again how to end this row. Okay, so now we're on to our last puff and I just wanna show you here, yarn over, go into your next space right here, the last one, one, two, three, four, and five, go through all loops, chain one, and then this time you don't need to chain one again, okay? I'm not sure if I made that obvious here down here, um, but you just uh, chain to close and then you go into your double crochet. So that's the only difference there. So again, I'm gonna go into my second chain right here and I'm going to put a double crochet, just like that, okay? So you just keep doing that over and over again. So now we'll change colors again, but as you can see, my color is on the opposite end, okay? So I would have to cut that off, and then I'm not going to cut it off because I don't wanna waste my yarn, but you would have to cut that off and then bring the pink in again up here. So like I said, you might want to not change colors because you don't wanna work it in, but it really does look lovely when you change colors, okay? So this makes a beautiful uh, stitch pattern. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. You can obviously put them down below in the YouTube comment section, or you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok, Facebook, Gmail. Everything's in the description below. So yeah, if you need me, I'm easily found, and I try to answer every question that I get if I possibly can, okay? So please like, share, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.